a bit like Christmas from a very kind of nerdy point of view, but it's also really sad because we're losing all this information. You know, we're losing it. And once it's gone, it's gone. The more information that we can get, the more we can hang on to. You can't hang on to your ancestors, but you need to know about them. We're sitting um, on the beach of Dingy's Howe, which is um, near the parish of Deerness in Orkney. We're actually here because we're interested in some archaeology that's coming out of the cliff section. There is the remnants of fish middens and shell middens that are being eroded away by the sea. They're very interesting and very important because they tell us about humans' activity and human behaviour in the past. We went and had a look at the middens. I've taken out the bits that are interesting mostly to me. We've taken one little tiny bit of fish here, really big fish, and from the size of the fish we think that it's telling us that the site probably dates to the medieval period, to the Norse period, at which point there were very big fish middens here in Orkney because they were part of a medieval trade, the first commercialisation of fisheries in, in Europe. All that from one tiny little bit of fish that's now, now down on the floor somewhere. This is a little bit of cow skull, probably tells us about what the people were eating themselves. So this is a, a Viking Norse cow from a thousand odd years ago. With climate change, there's various different factors at play here. So we've got increasing storminess is, is one thing that's happening. So we're getting more extreme weather conditions and part of that is increased wave action. And then also we're seeing a gradual rise in sea levels, which relates to the melting of the glaciers within Greenland. We're losing all this valuable heritage, all this valuable information that tells us about the past some of which is relevant to the future too, because you know I mentioned the fish. It tells us about fishing stocks that were present in the medieval period. That information is relevant for understanding conservation practice today. Whaling is another example. We can use archaeological evidence to look at species that are now becoming extinct, for example, the right whale. And it's, it's this kind of midden deposits that contains that information that you know, have a great relevance for, for understanding the modern world. I feel like that there is some hope in having the interest of scientists like Ingrid in these middens and in the other sites because it's not just middens, it's sites of all sorts. The sea doesn't discriminate um, in what it takes. <laughs>